Hello and welcome back. In this Black Excellence presentation, we want to celebrate Yamiche Alcindor, the American journalist and White House correspondent. Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we share Black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. Yamiche Alcindor is a prominent figure and influential voice in the world of politics, social issues, and civil rights. Her journalistic pedigree has seen her work for media giants from the New York Times to PBS. Alcindor demonstrates every day how critical it is to hold powerful people accountable and provide the public with consistently outstanding responsible journalism. The seasoned journalist has extensively covered topics from the impact of President Trump's policies on working class people and immigrants to the legacy of President Obama, as well as how police killings affect African American communities and children. In this original Black Excellence video, we will be featuring Yamiche Alcindor, White House correspondent. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, Yamiche Leon Alcindor was born on November 1st, 1986. Yamiche Alcindor was born in 1986 in Miami, Florida. Her parents are Haitian-born immigrants who met while attending Boston College. During Alcindor's formative years, she first fell in love with writing when she was just a child, frequently writing poems and short stories. While she was in high school, Alcindor was driven by hard work, grit, and determination. Her interest purportedly shifted to journalism after she learned about the lynching of Emmett Till in 1955. Interning at papers such as the West Side Gazette and the Miami Herald when she was still in her teens, Alcindor has clearly always known the significance of driving your own success. Number two, America's complex history in race relations and civil rights transform Alcindor. During her time at the newspaper, Yamish was given the opportunity to cover stories about the neighborhood she had grown up in. She was greatly inspired by the late African-American journalist and PBS NewsHour anchor Gwen Ifill. With these influences, Alcindor thus inspired to become a civil rights journalist. Number 3. Alcindor earned a bachelor's degree at Georgetown University. Following her graduation from high school, Alcindor chose to study English, African American studies, and government with a concentration in international relations at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. These distinct subjects combined would come to reflect all her interests and the ways in which to promote change. Alcindor earned a bachelor's degree in English and government from Georgetown University in 2009. While studying at Georgetown University, she became a member of the sorority Alpha Kappa Alpha, and she interned at the Seattle Times in 2006, the Miami Herald again in 2007, the Botswana newspaper Meggy in 2008, and the Washington Post in 2009. She later went on to enroll in postgraduate studies at New York University. In 2015, she received a master's degree in broadcast news and documentary filmmaking at New York University. Number four, Alcindor started her journalism career at Newsday. Alcindor's first full-time job was a reporter at Newsday, a media giant and newspaper based in Melville, New York. She worked with Newsday for two years covering several stories, which included the 2010 Haiti earthquake. Later, she was employed as a multimedia reporter for USA Today, based in New York City in December 2011, to cover national breaking news. While working with USA Today, Alcindor traveled across the country, giving her an opportunity to discuss the complexities of race relations in America. Her burgeoning career started with reports around numerous intriguing events, such as the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting in Connecticut, the shooting of Trayvon Martin in Florida, the police-related protests protests in Ferguson and the Baltimore protests. Number 5. Alcindor started working with NBC News and MSNBC in 2013. In 2013, in recognition of her promising efforts and good works in journalism, Alcindor was named Emerging Journalist of the Year by the National Association of Black Journalists. That same year, in 2013, Alcindor started working with NBC News and MSNBC as a guest contributor. A prolific journalist, she has appeared on several programs, including Andrew Andrea Michelle Reports, The Rachel Maddow Show, Morning Joe, Politics Nation with Al Sharpton, Meet the Press with Chuck Todd, 
and Hardball with Chris Matthews. In November 2015, Yamiche left USA Today and took up the role of a national political reporter with the New York Times. While working at the New York Times, Alcindor covered the presidential campaigns of Donald Trump and Senator Bernie Sanders, as well as Congress. As a journalist and social critic, Alcindor also wrote about the impact of President Donald Trump's policies on working class people and people of color. Alcindor also produced a documentary called The Trouble with Innocence in 2015. The intriguing documentary highlights the story of a man who was wrongly convicted of murder. Alcindor also appeared in the 2008 television series The Fourth Estate About Time Staff, covering the first 100 days of the Trump presidency. Number 6. Alcindor was appointed White House correspondent of the PBS NewsHour. In January 2018, Yamiche Alcindor was appointed White House correspondent of the PBS NewsHour. As PBS NewsHour's White House correspondent, Alcindor covered and reported on the presidency, White House events, and news briefings. Alcindor continued to travel extensively to cover a plethora of issues, such as the disproportionate impact of the coronavirus on Black people and communities of color, the government's response of the COVID-19 pandemic, the protests following the death of George Floyd, and the 24-7 cycle of news surrounding the president. With this, she garnered widespread praise from her colleagues and political junkies who celebrate her work covering politics. Number 7. Alcindor was a moderator of the 2020 presidential Democratic debate. The sixth in the series of 2020 Democratic debates was hosted by PBS NewsHour, and Alcindor was selected as one of the four moderators. The debate was held at Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles and featured Democratic presidential candidates such as Joe Biden, Pete Buttigieg, Bernie Sanders, and Elizabeth Warren. Number 8. Alcindor married reporter Nathaniel Klein in 2018. In 2018, Alcindor married fellow reporter Nathaniel Klein, a digital producer and an award-winning reporter. The couple held a private wedding ceremony in Virginia. They reportedly met at a reporter's meetup and began their relationship in 2014. In 2016, they got engaged and two years later tied the knot. Number 9. Alcindor made headlines for asking former President Trump tough questions. Alcindor is a force in the White House press corps, building a reputation as a reporter who will always ask her question despite the Trump administration's hostility toward the media. She has directly questioned Trump and on a number of occasions, things got heated as she pressed him on how his policies are impacting working class people and people of color. In spite of countless attacks from the former president, this seasoned veteran was always able to remain focused on the pursuit of the truth. Yamiche Alcindor fearlessly and consistently challenged Trump, his press secretary, and White House staff on their dangerous rhetoric and lies, helping to maintain the credibility of journalism amid an administration bolstering itself on the falsehood of fake news. Many of the moments have gone viral, and Alcindor received strong support and widespread acclaim from her colleagues. Number 10. Alcindor has received many awards for her achievements in journalism. In 2016, Yamiche Alcindor was nominated for a Shorty Award in the Journalist category. Later in 2017, Alcindor won an award in a tribute to journalist Gwen Ifill, who had died in November 2016, at the Syracuse University's Toner Prize Ceremony. Alcindor was listed as number 13 on the 2017 edition of The Root 100, an annual list by magazine The Root of the most influential African Americans between the ages of 25 and 45. The 2020 John F. Hogan Distinguished Service Award was awarded to PBS NewsHour White House correspondent Yamiche Alcindor. In 2017, Alcindor won an award in a tribute to Gwen Ifill during Syracuse University's Toner Prize Ceremony. The White House Correspondents Association awarded Alcindor the White House Correspondents Association's Aldo Beckman Award for overall excellence. Yamiche Alcindor is a member of the National Association of Black Journalists, NABJ, and the organization named her their Emerging Journalist of the Year in 2020. Alcindor has also received with the Eiffel Next Generation Award by Simmons University and Next Gen Leader Award by the Georgetown Entertainment and Media Alliance. 
Alcindor is currently working on her memoir titled Don't Forget, which documents how she rose from being a child of Haitian immigrants to becoming a journalism prodigy covering Black Lives Matter and civil rights abuses. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.